do not have any luxury or responsibility council to teach you law. You keep on lying, laying your bed. Let's go to paragraph going to three. Lie in it. Let's go to paragraph three of your affidavit, Honorable Governor. Which page? It is at page fifteen of your volume of your response. That will be volume one. Please confirm that it is you, not the assembly, who has paragraph three has introduced the gender issue. Correct or incorrect? Page 15. At paragraph three. Repeated at paragraph 11 and paragraph 15. The one that rings my election to the position of the governor of Meru County in the August 2022 general elections was culmination of a long journey with unprecedented challenges, having campaigned on an independent ticket and being a woman in a field ordinarily dominated by men. It is you who claims gender issues in that paragraph as read with paragraph 11 and 15, correct or incorrect? I have not raised any gender issue here. Okay, I'll leave it to the Senate to see from the record whether you've raised those issues. But weren't you, Honorable Governor, impeached by all the women MCAs? Never mind these claims about gender. Did they or did they not impeach you, all the women MCAs? The impeachment, to my understanding, does not either look at the gender of a person. My question is simple. Did the women MCAs of the Meru County Assembly vote in support of the impeachment motion? Yes, they did. Good. All of them, isn't it? Yes. Good. You say in paragraph... I'm trying to see the paragraph chair. 9 to 10 of your affidavit that there is a power matrix in which the minority and the majority have joined hands to hound you out of office. Is that the position you've taken in those paragraphs? Yes. Are you aware, Honorable Governor, that the Meru County Assembly has five independent MCAs? Yes, I'm aware. Did those independent MCAs vote in favor of the impeachment motion? Yes, they did. Would I be correct to say there are several political parties represented in the Meru County Assembly? There are several. Specifically, UDA, BAS, Jubilee, PNU, NOPEO, and DP. Correct or incorrect? Yes, correct. Yes, Senator. I really am tempted to interject on, uh, you know, uh, uh, what the council has mentioned about the governor uh, talking about being elected uh, in an unprecedented uh, situation as a woman. Page 15, you, you mentioned that. Paragraph 15. Paragraph 15. But really, Chair, isn't this one a statement of fact? Because in the Meru community, um, have we, do we have elected women MCAs? Do we have elected women members of parliament, apart from the women representative? 
she's among the very few governors who've been elected in Kenya as a woman. I mean, give credit where it's due. She's not glossing over it. It's a fact. Very good. Members, I can see lights are starting to come. Y yes, are, are, we, are we able to hold on just a little bit? He was about... And whatnot. Isn't that correct? It is correct. Have these efforts succeeded so far? Some have succeeded. But if the efforts by all these players have not resolved the problem in Meru, doesn't it then leave impeachment as the only way out? Problems are not solved in a day. I think the few months that have been in office is a short duration. And I, and I think it's good to give our issues time, and I believe all will be resolved well. You said the previous governor equally appointed his spouse to certain offices, right? Yes. Let's go to page 27 of your volume 2. I put it to you, Governor, that this Gazette notice on its face says, refers to a decision by the County Executive Committee of Meru and not a decision by the then Governor of Meru. Yes. It is therefore incorrect for you to suggest that the former governor appointed his spouse. If she was appointed, the person who appointed is the one the Gazette notice says made the decision, which is the county executive committee. The pronouncement were made by the governor order, himself. Order, governor. Don't respond. Because on page 27, that Gazette notice is not what the governor is, uh, what the council is saying. He knows the English language. Can you read for us page 27 where it reads? Council, council, you know English. The Honorable His Excellency Kreito is saying in this Gazette notice that password to a decision by the CC committee on 22nd of March 2018, establishing Meru to a program and in exercises of powers conferred by Section 32L of the County Government Act, I, I, Kreitu Murungi, Governor of County of Meru, and, and purpose of that, appoint. It is the governor appointing. It is not the CC. Don't confuse the witness because you know that English, you know that is, you are out of order. So chair, I will leave it. Witness, uh, witness, I will leave it to the chair. Witness, don't respond. I, I will leave it, chair, because it's a question of interpretation and we may differ on that. Uh, but I, so that I don't waste my time unnecessarily. Honorable Governor. Hold on. Members on this issue? Anybody? wants to ventilate? We proceed? Yes, it's done. Please proceed. confirm, Honorable Governor, that in your volume two, 